Hello, friends. It's Chop. Hard hats out down at the job site. Like, yo, these freaking leftist jesters. I can't get an. I've got it up to here with the jesters, with the capering and clouding. <laughs> he says, he writes, to neo Marxists and Jacobins playing journalists. Freaking neo Marxists and Jacobins over here. They're playing journalist jester. There's historian jester. There's journalist jester. There's newscaster jester. There is um, a hot dog man jester. It's just any, anyone casts encounters of a day that he feels, uh, you know, uh, put off by. I like that he called Beschloss as leftist firebrand. The guy's entire uh, corpus oh, goes down to presidents are cool. To power. <laughs> presidents are cool. <laughs> Those are some cool yeah. guys who become president, aren't they? Yeah. He says, uh, uh, to the Jacobins playing journalist jester, the end of days come when they lose power. Once they do, and a conservative Republican Congress begins pulling at, the thre at threads to determine how corporate legacy media colluded with the Democrat Party, big tech and the American security state to silence critics and mold the American information landscape, there will be much howling and counterwalling in the jester precincts. When a red wave bearing down on them and the jester is in biblical panic like those who suffered Noah's flood, is it okay for me to dream just a little bit? This is like, he's like, the jesters are drowning now. Do you see? This is fucking, <laughs> this is Rorschach's journal. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe this is why Trafal Trafalgar got the results it did. John Cass yes. was a consultant for them, and he's like, all right, how many jesters do you have in your sample group? <laughs> we got to get the jesters out of there. We got to fil fil filter for jesters. <laughs> I'm, I'm just. <laughs> I, I love in the middle of this thing where it's like the DSH is going to come to your house and arrest you if you uh, go to a parent teacher conference. It, he then says these Democrats who are so afraid that the Republicans are going to kill them. It's like you think the Democrats <laughs> are going to kill you. What are you talking about? Yeah, you have the exact same concerns. Literally, yeah. Literally paints his straw like builds a straw man acts like it. Yeah, while talking exactly like Francis Dolleride. <laughs> Uh, by the way, I just did a uh, just like a word search of the of the of the of this page of just the term the word jester appears in this column thirty times. Come up with the jesters. Come up with the jesters. Come I would say jesters. that's that's about twenty nine times too many. If you want to sound kind of normal, this is also this is reminding me of Travis Bickle. Someday a real rain is going to come and wash the jesters off the street. <laughs> so, so way of the jester. Way of the jester. Way of the jester. Way of the jester. Way of jester. Way of the jester. I just want to read the the end again. He goes, the American people have seen enough. They're tired of being pushed around by jesters. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Frank Luntz front focus group, that was their top concern. He goes, it's jesters, it's jesters, <laughs> then crime, inflation. They're tired of being pushed around again. by jesters. Oh, then evil jesters. <laughs> Who shriek, shriek for their heads and their job. They're fed up. That red wave gathers for us, and the time of the jesters honoring themselves will soon be at an end. <laughs> I have never, I have never He's... been more excited to read a follow up. <laughs> yeah, I cannot oh, wait. Man. Hold on a second. I gotta. I wait. I'm, I'm just gonna go to John Cass News. The jesters right are in control. <laughs> yeah, red alert. <laughs> we are uh, the court of the crimson jester. <laughs> the jester has taken over. He's in charge now. Okay. Holy shit. All right, th this is his column from uh, November 10th. Headline, after Little Red Ripple, President Biden's beer muscles want a second term and Chicago's main event begins. Beer muscles? <laughs> what, he what? goes, it might not be the most impressive of photographs, but just think what a Raphael or some other Italian Renaissance master could do with it. There's President Joe Biden in 2015, then our Vice President Biden, a.k.a. the, the big guy. Mr. 10% standing with the Secretary of State, John Kerry. They raise their glasses to toast Chinese Communist President for Life, Xi Jinping. They are so sure, so confident. Those perfect self-satisfied courtly masters of the universe smiles. And who is that hard-eyed blonde in the corner? Whether her name is Jill Biden or Edith Wilson, Raphael would capture her there in that bottom left corner of visual power and fix her staring off into the middle distance to look for traces of angels. He has... Did he did his he family lock him in his, <laughs> his, his family brain. locked him in a fucking art museum <laughs> to get him to detox from sausage? He's he's got Stendhal syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he's in a fate thing. Because uh, so what happened with that little red ripple? It was a big red wave in Florida with Governor Ron DeSantis and Senator Senator Marco Rubio, but a GOP disappointment in other states. And now control of the Senate rests with Georgia. The Republicans will need a team effort, and even with Biden's personal ratings in the toilet, Republican leadership is at each other's throats. 
So it's just, yeah, he, he just acknowledges the red ripple. Then he just starts talking about how Chicago is plagued by violent crime and je- je- jester criminals. Let's not forget them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, of course. And he, then, okay. Justice. Then he talks for like a, another 10,000 words about Lori Lightfoot. But yeah, he, that, that's his follow up to <laughs> the jester. Wow. Piece. I, I, not a single mention of a jester. You went from, well, that's the biggest drop in mentions of a jester from one column to another, I think, in human history. <laughs> But he's still was talking about zero. Renaissance painting. <laughs> not a, yeah. And, you know, you could have talked about jesters there. You got a Renaissance painting going. You could throw a jester in there just one you, time, just as a just as a, a, a Easter egg for the real fans who remember your is, jester era. It's more insane to mention them 30 times and then not mention them once in the follow-up <laughs> than to keep mentioning them. Uh, That's what more jesters? fucked up. Jesters. Uh, not refer- What's that? What does that mean? What, what do you mean about? I had a jester phase? No, I that didn't. sound like me. <laughs> I didn't have a jester phase. What are you talking about? So, you know, uh, I, I think we should go forward with this jester thing. You know, like, uh, you know, like um, when the Democrats win, we have to reassure people that the jesters are in control. Jesters Patriots are in control. control. Patriots used to be in control, but the jesters are now in control. Yep. The jesters the are in control of the court. by that thing with bells on it. Yeah, the Marat. The Marat. There. Oh, my God. The jester could be the fucking liberal frog. That could be their groiper. Uh, post what? like a little Michigan jester. Michigan J frog. Which Michigan J frog? liberal frog? We never did. Liberal frog. We never decided on crazy one. Crazy frog. We, Should crazy frog be the liberal frog? Crazy frog might be good. How about the Budweiser frogs? Bring them back, but they're like we're jesters now. We're li- we're okay. Lists. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, abortion. That would work because then you're contrasting the weird, gross, uh, like defiantly asocial Pepe with the cool Budweiser fries who are friends and who drink beer. They, that's right. Groiper is always alone. Yep. Budweiser frogs run in a pack. There's three of them. Bud and they love it. And they like to watch the Super Bowl. and they don't care what the, if the commercials have gender in them, what does that even mean? Shut up. I got money on this. I hope my favorite Groiper account isn't suspended. Cause I do want to check in the account that like, uh, just really ruined me for a while. Music Groiper. Ooh, yeah, you were really... Um, music Groiper got suspended. Oh, no. Oh. Elon. God, Fuck you, Elon. Elon, you must fix this. We didn't get to talk, about how, yeah. didn't get to talk oh, about how fun best, the last couple best days website on Twitter on Earth. Earth. Yeah. <laughs> Greatest website that's ever existed. At an all-hands meeting as of about an hour ago, he said um, bankruptcy is not out of the question. <laughs> Nor did we talk great. about um, Sam Gee, Bankman wonder- fried... Oh wait, I'm sorry. He also sold four billion dollars worth of Tesla stock last night during he the did. during the Red Whipple. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. He's he's got it all under control. It's fine. <laughs> Everything's going great. When has he ever over delivered on something or over promised on something and then not delivered it? Not one time in his career. Just ask that dancing robot of his. <laughs> <laughs> uh, folks, we're going to build a jester colony on Mars. The jester situation <laughs> in the, on the planet Earth has gotten out of control. We need to export our jesters to a Martian colony. We are seeing an example of when prophecy fails playing out right in front of our eyes. Like the, the Elon Musk fans, uh, the contortions that they've gone through, it's positively QAnon-esque to try to keep justifying every act that just keeps showing more and more. This guy does not know what the fuck he's doing. He's completely fucked. He's a moron. Well, I I suspect we'll have uh, more. We we should do a a fuller comprehensive report on how funny Twitter has been over the last week. And I would also like to talk about um, Sam Bankman fried losing like $18 billion in like a minute. That's effective altruism. (laughs) Yeah. Effective altruism. He did what he said he was going to do. He gave away his fortune. (laughs) He gave away a lot of other people's fortunes, too. Mm-hmm. That's true. He's just using That's true. crypto accounts to fucking do it. Best He's doing way, altruism the effective way. Spe- spe- speaking of, like, bad shit happening to David Shore. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> Woof. All right, we should probably uh, let's wrap it up there yeah, for today. Yeah. Uh, much to discuss. Uh, you know, like, and, like and some, and a lot of these races still haven't been called yet. Uh, and it's just... Uh, uh, Warlock and Walker. I mean, the, the, that's, the control that's, of the Senate it. hinges on... Uh, and, and and which one of us will kiss the other one? Yeah, we who's going to drink the... Election, the who wins? Who's going who's to get the gay, with, the gay potion guy. off the dark web? Yeah, I don't care. I know I know. He's a, Felix is 100% right about the educational uh, alignment favoring a Democrat in any uh, non... You know, any special election, because those are the freaks who come out and vote in those. But you know what? I, I don't know. I just think he's got a warrior's heart, and I think he's going to pull it off. He really I mean, might. I, I will say working against him is also that Kemp isn't at the top of the ticket. That's mm. tough. And so, neither tough. is Stacey fucking Abrams to pull down if, poor 
Reverend Warlock. If, yeah. if Herschel Walker's campaign would like to um, engage our listeners in, in, in this runoff election and get them on their side, uh, just know that like the terms of this bet are if Herschel Walker wins, Felix will take the gay potion from the dark yes. web. So I think most of our fans would prefer that outcome. I mean, like you got a, you got a lot of lot of fans, Felix, who are are hoping. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of people and have I, been yeah. 